Okay, uh, Zurcher squat. So this one traditionally is done with a barbell, uh, but you can get it done with a dumbbell. If and when you're going to do it with the dumbbell, I'll obviously program that in for you, um, and I'll send you like a private tutorial of that. But really and truly, like it always wants to be done with a barbell if you can get your hands on one. Okay. If you've also got one of these little pads, uh, most gyms do have them, like for hip thrusts and things like that. I definitely recommend using it. It's a lot easier on the elbows. Okay. So we're going to add this little pad just to the middle of the bar, okay, making sure it's right in the middle of the bar, not lagging to one side, okay, so that looks about right to me. Joe's going to come up and underneath and hold the bar with the crease of her elbows, okay, so it's going to be resting the crease of her elbows. It's important that when she picks this up, she's still contracting her arms and her biceps as if she's doing a bicep curl. That's going to limit, that's going to limit how much tension is placed on the lower back, okay, so Joe, if you come up from there, okay, she comes underneath it nice and tight big squeeze of the arms, and from there, it's almost like a regular goblet squat, okay, so she's coming down nice and low, elbows in between the knees, and then driving it up from there, okay, cool, right the bar, that's fine.